Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to fetch the data from a database. So before getting started, first of all, thank you so much. We have reached 300 subscribers and before getting started with the video, I just want to tell if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will be getting a notification on it do follow me on my instagram page as well let's get started with the video so in previous video we have done how to display session message using alertify if you have not yet watched that video do check it out i'll just remove this okay so in this video we are going to fetch the data which is there in our database which is php tutorial is our database admin panel is a table we are going to fetch all these data inside localhost slash neha codes slash admin dashboard index we are going to fetch all the data inside this index page here we'll change the title to fetch data and we'll fetch all those data here that was inside index right so inside index we have here insert let us change this heading to fetch data from the database in php so we have changed the heading here so inside card body we are going to fetch those data in a table of format so we need a table let's reload this so we have got the heading so here we need a table so for table design you can go to get bootstrap and get the design go to get bootstrap.com version here is 5.3 click on doc and search for tables so here you have a sample table let us copy this and design accordingly let's copy this table and go to index.php and inside card body just paste it right click and format document so that this will get aligned properly now let us go reload this and check so here you got all the design but we don't have this first last and handle we have id name email and phone let us change that accordingly and these are dummy datas we need the data which is there in this table so let us go fetch the data which is there in this table for that what we have to do is here let us change this to id name email phone okay let's remove this tr both the trs inside table body we have to write the php code so first let us open close php here we have opened and closed so first thing we have to do is the connection so in previous video and all if you have observed properly we would have directly written the connection here but in this particular video we are not going to do that because here we have included the database so which is there inside this db config file we have already given the connection here so no need to again type the connection here we just include it here so this connection will be included so here we just need to write a query to fetch the data so let us do that dollar let's tell this as fetch query is equal to so we want everything which is there in that particular table so tell select star from table name give you a table name a table name is admin panel let us copy this paste it here and give a semicolon and again write a one more query fetch query run is equal to using mysqli query just connect your database which is connection and pass this fetch query variable copy paste it so inside this table we have the data so if we have the data we are going to use a for each loop and uh, get the data if there is no data i mean if suppose the table is empty we will just display a message telling the table is empty so for that what we are going to do is using an if condition if this query if dollar i mean for this if using mysqli num rows okay using mysqli num rows of this variable is greater than zero which means if there is data present then we are going to use for each loop if there is no data we'll be using else in else part just divide cut open 
and here just give it in a tabular format itself and tell td give a call span is equal to give this as 4 or give it as 5 and here you tell no record found okay this td should be inside tr so let's give a tr cut this paste it here if there is no data this part will be executed if there is data let us give a for each loop tell for each of dollar fetch query run copy paste as dollar row so here using this dollar row we are going to get so let us cut this tr from here and let us divide the php here and paste this tr let us cut this so here inside this td we are just going to echo open close php and echo dollar row of id let us go test this if we are getting the output and then let's print the other field data so i think it is not confusing you guys and uh, why i am dividing here is all this tr and td are html tags so inside php to use html we should divide the php and use or else it will give you an error let's go reload and check the output go back reload so you are getting all the seven data seven id let us go fetch the name email and phone for that just control c three times and change this to name email phone now let us go reload reload and you have got all the data which is there in your table so this is how you fetch the data which is there in your database i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video